On February the 26th, 2014, I posted my first Artifexian video. 270 days later, and I find myself staring at a figure that fills me with equal parts bafflement, pride, and happiness. That figure, 1,000. I mean, that is way more than I can count on my meat digits. Like when I started off on this little venture of mine, I figured the total number of people visiting my little corner of the internet here would effectively be zero. But 1000 is undeniably a non-zero figure. Like the concept of a thousand real people taking a real interest in the sometimes incoherent ramblings of a nerdy space-obsessed Irishman is incomprehensible to me. Like just beyond everything I had hoped for. So thank you, internet. Thank you for watching and supporting Artifexian. You have been so good to me that I periodically find myself puking rainbows at the thought of your awesomeness. Again, and it cannot be overstated enough, thank you. A massive shout out needs to go to the Reddit community, and in particular, the world building subreddit, the space subreddit, and last, but definitely not least, the Arden subreddit. Most of my newest subscribers have come from these communities and every time I post there, my content is met with overwhelming positivity and encouragement. Redditors, you guys are great, never change. Well, unless it's for the better, then maybe do change. But if it's not, then, then don't. Anyways, change or no change, you guys are the best of us. Now, I believe when a YouTuber hits an arbitrarily chosen base 10 milestone, internet protocol dictates that we hold a Q&A. So let's hold a Q&A. So dear subscribers, new and old, to celebrate this most auspicious of days, my name is Edgar, people on the internet call me Artifexian, ask me anything. And I mean literally anything. Ah, the wonderful feeling of excitement and terror. If you're interested, leave your questions in the comments or on my social media. Links, as always, will be in the doobly-doo. And while you're contemplating what questions to ask, I'll leave you with a montage of my favorite Artifexian moments thus far. Enjoy, thanks for watching, and here's hoping Artifexian lives long and prospers. Edgar out. YouTube, Edgar here, and welcome to Artifexian. Here you will learn everything you ever wanted to know about world building, and then some. YouTube, Edgar here, and welcome to Artifexy, and here you will learn everything you ever wanted to know about world building, and then some. I thought to myself, Mr. Sagan, you're onto something there. Tangent alert, heavy water, or deuterium oxide is almost identical to regular light water, except it is 10% heavier. The Sudbury Neutrino Observatory used a thousand tons of heavy water stored over two kilometers underground in the mine to build a neutrino detector. But then NASA's Kepler mission came along, and its findings blew astronomers' minds the world over. These supermassive stars are the celestial rock stars, they live fast and die young. Hey, if there's one thing I like to do here on Artifexian, it's that given the opportunity, I like to get sexy. And my monkey-derived brain can't be dealing with that sort of thing right now. If I blew up an amount of TNT equivalent to one trillion times the mass of the Earth. However, let's get a little Star Wars here and use a dab of hand wavium. Never, ever, ever place planets within this zone. Period. One promoting interplanetary trade and connections. The iron core drains energy from the star. The OG pseudoplanet. And I often ask myself, why aren't there more sentient homosexual vexillographers of the mantis shrimp persuasion? Mind blown. Plants, why you green? We call them puffy giants. Madness. Super Jupiters. Crazy winds spawn crazy storms. Saturn, like an acne-ridden teenager, breaks out in its own spots. Rings are another thing that the giant planets have in common. He did think they were Saturn's ears and that Saturn periodically would devour them. Internal diamond hailstorms, a liquid diamond ocean, and maybe even diamond icebergs. Get it? Lawless? Saturn wouldn't float. Just die. Painfully. So then astronomers were all like, yeah, maybe these aren't planets. Damn son, this cat be cray cray. Cutely, its two moons were given the nicknames Rudolph and Blitzen. Next, the side of your binary pairs are to be close binaries like Tatooine, or distant binaries like anti-Tatooine. You want to build a multiple star system like the one in Battlestar Galactica? Through careful and deliberate empirical study, it has become clear to me that Franz Liszt was not a human, but in fact a mantis shrimp in a human shape exosuit. So, our solar system. Four terrestrial planets, two liquid giants and two ice giants, zero floaters. 